Welcome guys, this is going to be the fourth part of our video tutorial series on Angular component. And today, in today's, uh, in today's screencast, we are basically show you how to uh, do a single page configuration or navigation configuration, meaning whenever URL of our application changes, when the URL of our, our, our application changes, we should be able to you know, uh, load the different uh, module or different component into our applications okay so very first thing of course you know let's look at our look it into our source code here especially we're going to look it into our main module here we have to do a couple of modification in our module here initially we had only one depend one dependency specified coeng resource that dependency was needed because we had example of http uh, Angular HTTP service. Now, next thing we're going to use is the router, ng component router, and we specify this dependency into our module. And then, once that specification, well, that that dependency is specified, we have to use a value service. One of the value service, we're going to say to our component, component app module, we're going to say value and you give a name as a dollar route root component. And this can be the main component called main menu. That is the name I have decided to use. You don't really have to call it main menu. But it's, a, it's a totally up to you. Whatever name kind of makes sense to your application. So once that is all defined, uh, next thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and define a JavaScript file here. So I'm going to rename this file. I'm going to name this file as the main menu this is going to be like the top label menu in our application okay so let's make some changes into job into this file this is uh, using that component app mo module so I'm going to call this this mod component as main menu component and it will be loading some Java I mean the HTML fragment from temp from a file residing inside a template folder Call. Let's give it a name as a main menu. That is okay. Let's copy this one. Let's create a HTML file into this template. It's main menu, which I have already created, and I have a file called main menu here. And it contains it, only the HTML fragments. Let's for now. I'm not gonna even. I will explain what that one is later. Uh, so that's what I have here and now let's go ahead into our uh, index page so index page right now it contains you know is this navigation code instead of have this navigation code this HTML fragment navigation code into our index.html our main page our cell page I'm gonna load that from the our template and let's have a reference to our JavaScript file Oops. Name of our file is main menu. Okay, let's go ahead and save everything. So right now we don't have anything in our page because all our HTML is gone. So um Let's make sure we're going to load our very first top label menu here. That's the main menu. Okay, this time our HTML fragment is loaded from, uh, from the template using XML HTTP request, right, by the component. So, very first thing, the idea is like when the list, if we, somebody goes into the home page of our application, we should, let's go ahead and load the very first component that we have defined. If you guys have been following along to, to my tutorial, we very first component that we created was this first Angular component, which was very simple. It has just the name first template and then the name of the temp 
and the template with some values. Let's go ahead and make that as a default uh, default page. Somebody when come ID basically when somebody comes into our home page, we're gonna show this text here. Okay. Okay, into this main menu, the new the another property that we have to now look at into is is a property called route config. The route config takes a, a, a we're gonna do a configuration into our uh, as if you guys have been, if you guys come from like a, a MBC design pattern, this is very common feature, you know. You, you do a configuration of your model and view and controller and navigation, all those things. Exactly the same kind of idea. So we're going to define our configuration for the URL. The configuration, this array contains the object. The structure of this object looks like kind of like this. It has property called path. As you guys might have guessed by now, the path refers to the main URL. And then it has another property called component. And we need to give a value for the component. And then there is another property called name. That is the like, you know, kind of like this name, you can you can give any name that you like, which is kind of appropriate to, to your application. Let's say in this case I'm gonna say demo one, the first demo or whatever. Or well, let's I'm gonna give it a, let's say a first demo. This is going to be our configuration. This 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 component is the main top level component. It's pretty simple. It has a name and it has a couple of property template URL to load it. the HTML fragment and this one is for the configuration here. Okay. Um, we'll be creating more uh, configuration. Just for now, we just have one path, one path defined. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I can do something like this. Maybe, yeah. Format my format my code. Okay, let's go ahead and save this one. And if I refresh my page, oh, I have to then. Let's go ahead into main menu here and define this route here. Right now it's pointing to this, so we can do something like this. And I think I named that the, the, the name property as let me see what did I name it as. It is called first demo. So I'm going to come in here and then define that route as. As first demo, let me go ahead and save this one. So when somebody comes into the home page of my application, you're supposed to load that. Uh, oh, the, the other other import. It is not loading right now because we we just define our top label component. So um, this is our main component, which is loaded, which contains some bootstrap file, bootstrap data and information. So next thing we have to do, we need once inside our main uh, main component, let's define some um, div. Give it a class, bootstrap class called a container. And inside. One of the property, one of the other directly provided by the Angular component is something called data dot ng dot ng dash outlet. So this like like this is kind of like a placeholder. This tells the when when the route or the URL or the route parameter changes, it, it basically this is a placeholder to load this subcomponent that we have defined. Let's go ahead and save this one and refresh our page. We have some error here. We got 
route config should contain exactly one component loader or directory property. We definitely have some sort of uh, issue here. Let's see what's going on. ng component router is a router root component. That com configuration is good. And let's look it into our main module. Is the main menu as our component. Here's a template, and here is the dollar route country. Oh, it is because you know we right now this we we forgot to use. We have a component, but we have we have an empty name, meaning we don't have any component name to load. That's what it is complaining about. So what we can do, or we, we we are forgetting our. So this is the the template. I mean, component we would like to load. So we we have we have to make sure we put this value here. I think that is what the error is about. And then let's. Okay, as you can see here, it is this is my first component. The first component is now is loaded. Okay. And somebody comes into the home page. It's a, the first component is loaded. Okay, this is what that is what we want to do. So, okay. As you uh, recall, we can define now more more uh, route config now. We can define more path segments. Let's define when uh, we can define. Um, We have this example with uh, with the template template URL, so we can use this one. Come in here. This is name of our component is this, and then we can change this name as a first demo, and we call we can call it second demo. And when somebody comes into, let's say, uh, I'm going to define this route as second demo. Okay, let's go ahead and use this as a second demo in our HTML file. This is our home page with the first demo. And then, let's say, instead of this, we can use um, our route as second demo. And we can call this one as second demo example. That's going to be the text to our, you know, hyperlink. Put that into a drop-down list, as you can see right here. The new, the new content is loaded, and then if I go in here, this. Now let me, instead of having this into a drop-down list, let me change that one, the second demo, into a main. That is inside the nested UL. Instead of having that there, I want to have this one. Or even next to the, the next to the home page. Maybe right here. This is this that tab will be our second demo. If I do a second demo here, it loads different pages. If I go into this one, I'm going to change that as a first demo because instead of having that default navigation text. After the home, there's another deep container. Here's li. I think this is what it is. The link.
Let me get rid of this one. I'm gonna call this one up. First demo. First demo loads the first component. When I go to second example, do the second one. Let's go ahead and create one more tab here. Uh, we're gonna um next to the second we're gonna load our next component. The name of that next component is component with the HTTP controller. So let's grab this. Let's say we have four of those. This is called second demo. Third demo, fourth demo, third demo example. Here is the fourth, fourth demo example. Okay, here's our home page. Here's the first demo second demo of course right now nothing really happens because both the third and second third and fourth they are referring to the same so um, this we have to change our configuration now the, the as you might have guessed by now because we have only defined two routes two navigation routes so now we have to go into a main module here and we can go ahead and define additional um, path and additional route configuration. I'm going to call this one as you guess by now and call it as a third demo. And this is going to be the fourth demo. And let's give it a meaningful name or demo for this one. And fourth demo. So, with this configuration, of course, you know, I need to change this. We, since we will be loading different template based on the navigation changes. So, um, Further, we have this controller called um, component with controller. Let's define that with the component with the controller and the one with the HTTP into which we loaded all the all the you know countries in our JSON file. Component with HTTP. So let's come in here and change this property, and let's go ahead and save all the files. When we save those, and now our all our navigation should start working. Let me close this one here. This is our first demo. It's loaded the different component. It's the third one. Angular. This is also the third one. This is our fourth. As you as you remember this one, you know we had this example. We loaded JSON file. So uh, as you, our navigation is working now correctly, you know it changes. It, it loads a different component, and it's using or fetching all those uh, HTML fragments in our JSON data using HTTP web request. That is what I wanted to show. This up to now in our video tutorial, we have very simple, uh, kind of like a tutorial phase. Now we have, I have, I have, I'll be creating a real application. Um, I have a sample of real application that what we'll be working on starting from a new video tutorial. Thank you so much for for guys for watching videos and encouraging me to record more. Really appreciate it.